When it comes to reaction time, Dr. Thompson, that's critical, isn't it? Raina, it is extremely critical uh, because there's a matter of, of, of two things that can happen very quickly when we have a heart attack. What a heart attack is, is a, a clot in an artery mm -hmm. and there's no blood flowing through it. And the most crucial thing as far as life and death is concerned is that a lot of people will have arrhythmias, particularly ventricular fibrillation, which oh. can kill them immediately and they can have what's called sudden cardiac death. And people who have that need to be uh, uh, treated immediately with CPR and electrical defibrillation. So it's extremely important that you access uh, help right away. The other reason to act quickly is that the longer the clot remains in the blood vessel mm -hmm. not being treated, the longer the muscle is exposed to lack of oxygen and the muscle can be permanently and irrevocably damaged so that it'll never be able to pump again. So oh. you need to get in because we have clot busters and medications that can break up those clots. So if an individual is experiencing, as we discussed earlier, yeah. chest pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain, right. neck pain, and they think, gee, I might be having heart problems, they need to act quickly. They need to get help. They need to access 911. And if you're with somebody that's having that, you need to access 911. You need to locate, if there's available, an automatic electronic defibrillator and have it near the person, put it on the person, and be ready to start CPR and uh, those are the crucial things and then get them to the hospital as quickly as possible get the EMS people to your location as quickly as possible